Welcome back to Thoroughbred Weekly right here on MSG Plus in the Aqueduct Studio. I'm happy to have five pound apprentice Jackie Davis next to me. And you and I were talking right before we went on camera. Your voice, a little hoarse. Where were you last night? Uh, I rode the last race in Meadowlands last night. Probably post time was like 11 o'clock at night. And every night I've rode the last race since they've been open, so. It's the life of a bug rider. And that was Saturday <laughs> night, by the way, where she was riding in the uh, finale over at the Meadowlands. And I assume, since you are an apprentice, you were probably at Belmont Park this morning galloping horses, working out? Yeah. I actually jogged two horses this morning, two miles. Wow. So you're mm. fit, in shape, and oh, you didn't yeah. blow off the interview, so that's good news. <laughs> and you've been in this studio before because you spent last winter as a 10-pound apprentice riding here at Aqueduct. You know, over the last 12 months or so, describe your progression as a rider, because I even see it watching your races and watching <laughs> you ride out there. You're like a completely different jockey now. Oh, yeah. I uh, put a lot of work in the summer and all winter. Uh, I rode uh, probably about five. I've been to five, six different racetracks. I uh, rode with uh, a bunch of different riders, a bunch of different surfaces. Uh, I'm uh, a lot stronger because I've gotten a lot more rides all winter, I mean all summer. And a lot of fun, a lot of work. Now, how about your dad, obviously, uh, Robbie Davis, who is yeah. uh, certainly a familiar face around these parts for a long, long time, won a lot of big races. You yeah. know, what's your relationship like with him, uh, you being a rider now? Do you talk to him every day? Do you guys go over replays together and prepare together? Everything. Mm -hmm. He um, he's on phone me every day after after I'm done with my races. We'll go over everything. He'd be like, "Well, why didn't you do this? Work on this. Give me exercises. How to be as that's some. We can honestly, I can honestly say that's why I look like a totally different rider oh, because great. I have him behind me. Well, that's super. Which I, lo I love it. <laughs> and Robbie must have been pretty happy because this past uh -huh. week you were white hot here at the Big A. You had a big week, won a bunch of races, and a big price here on Northern Warrior. That was the second race, I believe, on Wednesday. Oh, yeah. She ran beautiful. And this was opening day on the inner track. Take us yep. through the final, uh, final eighth of a mile. You're on the outside here, and I guess you knew passing the 16th you were going to get up. Oh yeah, I pro um, well we, we got to the quarter pole. My 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 plan was either to to cut it through the fence or go around them. Mm -hmm. Obviously, they were bumping each other around and race riding, so I decided to take the easy way out and go around. Well, I'm sure you made a lot of long shot <laughs> uh, long shot players happy because oh, yeah. you weren't bringing home eight to five shots this no. past week. There was there was seemingly one bomb after another, mm -hmm. and later in the day, this was opening day on the inner track again. You won another race, your second on the card, and uh, oh, I yeah. think message uh, message boards, racing message boards, were a buzz. I saw a few comments myself. Oh, take yeah? us through at Mitchell Park from off the pace. Oh. Oh, um, as soon as he switched leads, he felt like a rocket. That's basically it. I was, I was just trying to keep up with him down the stretch. <laughs> Excuse me. Uh, he just felt great. Hey, the, the pay, there was no, there was no, none of the speed was holding that day. Right. So. We just uh, saved a little ground and made sure I had some in the end. And perhaps you saved the best for last <laughs> because it's Saturday's last race and there were three oh. horses covered in the pick six. You were not covered. No. And but boy, oh boy, you, I guess you were a little muddy coming off the far <laughs> turn here with Subtle Rich. Take us through from the 316s. Man, well, I, I was, oh man, how do I say this? I, will, I, I noticed the speed, they took it real fast. And in that slop, I know speed was holding, so I took my chances sitting off the pace and figured if I had the horse to get there, we were going to get there. Mm -hmm. And they were, I know that obviously they were speed doing down the front, the back side. So I kind of banked on that and it worked. <laughs> well, congratulations. Three long shot winners here last week at the Big A. And as we tape the Sunday morning, maybe you have a few more <laughs> through Sunday's nine race card. So. Talk about... Talk about the winter here at Aqueduct. Obviously, I think the inner track, and guys in the past, I think, have been labeled inner track riders, which in a way I think is unfair because it's it's a quirky kind of racetrack, mm -hmm. and it looks to me like it's tricky to ride, even though I've never sat on a horse. It is. They they told me it uh, it's a lot like um, Meadowlands because it is a speed-favoring track, mm -hmm. but you can come off the pace if you put your horse in the right position. But uh, that's what I've always been told. It's speed-favoring, but... I've seen days where speed was holding all day and you can come from 10 lengths out of it as long as you got the horse and you plan it right and patience and so much that goes into it. It's crazy. Now there's a lot of new apprentices and new faces in the jocks room. What makes yeah. you, do you think, stand out from the rest of them? Experience. Experience, yeah. Experience. I, I'm almost done with my year. Um, obviously, I, I'm shy. I, when I get to show off, I can, but you need the horse to do it. And... Um, a lot more experience. That's basically it. Like, 
Well, it sounds like confidence is yeah, not confidence, an issue. Yeah. Yeah, it's not an issue with you, and that's good news. Not anymore, obviously. <laughs> and you know what? I think we'll have to have you on after you win your first grade one. So thanks, oh, Jackie. Okay. Thank we you. know you had a late night, a busy morning <laughs> yeah. across town at Belmont Park. Thanks for joining us. Thank we'll you. take a quick time out here on Thoroughbred Weekly. Naira Spotlight is up next after the break.